Hey guys, what's up? Everyone, folks, I'm Dean here with episode 30. 30? Sorry, 43 of my Yu Gi Oh! Lexi Little Let's Play. In the last episode, we actually finished Pain. The freaking last episode lasted forever. In this episode, we are starting our new campaign. And I already did the tutorial duel for this because I didn't really want to go through that. <laughs> but I'll just basically tell you what the new mechanic part of the game is. Just so you know, I don't. What am I trying to say? Oh, what? Okay, I guess I. S yes. Alright, already messing up. I'm already messing up. Alright. Play as a normal duel. I forgot to click try. We went through that story deck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, where was where was I? Well, one thing I was gonna say is that I actually stopped watching the anime after this. At this point, uh, 5D is the last anime I seriously watched. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Decent, I guess. I mean, it could be better, but it could be worse. So, what the heck am I? Set that card face down, and I will set my hyena. And you could read his effect, you'll see why I'm doing that. How can you attack directly? I know what card it wants me to use, I just don't want to use it now. Okay, let me read my, uh, monsters. Ooh. Alright, I gotta use that. <laughs> Exceed summon, which is a good mode of summoning, uh, which is the new mode of summoning. Basically, how exceed summoning works is that you have to have, well, for this monster specifically, you have to have two level three monsters. The monsters have to be the same exact level, they don't have to be the exact monster, but just the same level. Um, you could get the same level by different ways, by, you know, having monsters to the same levels, or using spell cards to lower, high, and the level. Uh, as you can see, these are level 4, so they won't work for these the monsters with the three star chips. And these monsters are a little different, because their chips aren't levels, they're ranks. Ranks are completely different from levels, meaning if there's a card that says level four monsters or higher can't attack, well, exceed monsters don't need to follow that rule. They're immune to that effect. Uh, I'm gonna summon my number 20 because he's probably the best choice in my opinion. I think it's a really useful effect. 
Attack mode, obviously. Like, what else? Like, seriously. Uh, and I'll summon my Dark Blade Rider. And use his effect, so I get a little boost of attack. And I'll use the effect of Geiga Brillant. Okay, there we go. I forgot how to control this game for a second. Um, this is odd because I like, the crap out of this game not only like a week ago. <laughs> so hopefully these monsters can stay intact because uh, there's no way he's gonna be able to destroy these monsters. There might be a way he's able to destroy these monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh wait. Who's that? What type is it, wind? I have nothing but wind at wind monsters in my hand. That's weird. Uh well I'll summon my Probably the best choice would be this guy. And I... If I, can get around, if I don't get interrupted, I guess I could exceed summon something, but... Honestly, none of these monsters won't really be a match, so... I will wait to do that, because I do want to destroy this guy pretty quickly. And I'll use his effect again to banish this so he gains his little boost of power, making him strong enough, just strong enough to defeat this guy. Jerk thought he had me. Nope. <laughs> I guess we could exceed summon now, so let's summon my uh, dragon dwelling in a cave and exceed. I call it exceed summoning, but it can also be called XYZ summoning. Either way, I've heard it. Per I've heard it said either way. <laughs> well, I want to be sure. I want to use this guy. So this guy looks like he's the best. I'm honestly going for power at this point because this is not really a hard duel, so I'm gonna go with this guy. But in, later in this let's play, I'm gonna be needing to uh, choose my Exceed monster carefully. And I won. Not a hard duel. Not a hard duel at all.
flipping out. Oh no, not this dude. <laughs> I remember this guy. <laughs> I remember this guy. I played the demo for this and this is one of the demo duels. <laughs> and I had trouble on him. Believe it or not. He's his deck is just a jerk of a deck. And you can probably tell from the name of the duel what kind of and his name what kind of deck he's using. He's using like a flip deck, meaning you want to be careful of what you target. God, I hate this jerk. I think this is my least favorite duel in the game at this point, honestly. Even though know, a lot of the other ones gave me trouble, this one is just a dick. <laughs> oh sweet. This is a great card I can get. I think some I have. <laughs> wow. So I'll summon my Zubaba Knight. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh. All of them? I could use them, right? So I could use them as like a tribute summon type thing. But before I attack his stupid monster, monster, I wanted to use this. For a later point, I'll add a uh, goblin bird. Well, I have three level one monsters. So, I'll just check his dog. That's what I was trying to go for, but I screwed up by using Sword of Revealing. Swords of Re... Bleh. Swords of Revealing Light. Excuse me. So I have to be careful about what monsters I summon now. I ha do I have? Number 34 terabyte. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> oh, sorry. Terabyte. Uh, don't have enough. Three level threes. Oh. Leviathan. Leviathan. Leviathan's a pretty good choice, so I might go with him, but uh, I think I'm going to honestly not do that right now. But this card attack is face up defense mission. I should have done the lava I think. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> um I guess I could do that now. And I don't really plan on using his effect at all since I can't really attack this turn. Wow. I can't use this for this. Like, seriously, they're level one. Hmm. 
anyway. Um, Bullshit. Well, at least I get that. <laughs> something like that. I don't have anything to do. Honestly, I'm just glad he did this. He did not have a larger field. But he wasted my freaking materials. I really don't want to activate the card. It's kind of useless at this point. Pointless, I mean. Oh my god. Hey.
defense mode, obviously. And I have Wabagoo, so I'll be safe for one turn. Yeah, I should use this since it lasts for the turn. Ooh, that's a good card. <laughs> that worked out weird. Really better than I thought. <laughs> that oddly worked out better than I thought. I don't know how I can word, worded that better. Of course, the one card I choose is that. The only problem now is that his freaking, uh, I guess this strategy would have worked better if I had a uh, swords, of, swords of revealing light. I have a really weird habit where every time I say that, I always pronounce it wrong if I say it too fast. Due to how I am, actually, pretty much every word I say is always. That card needs to go. Never mind. Sorry, because I don't even have levels on the field. I have nothing but ranks. Now we could use Goblin for Oh, we can still use it. <laughs> it's gonna be set to defense mode no matter what, so. So our choice is number 39, Utopia. Which you could probably tell is like the main card in this. Okay, it's gonna take a little. Oh, not from my own monster. It's... I'm gonna take a little damage from it, but that monster needs to get the heck out of here. Wait, I took no damage? That looks pretty cool. I forgot what that looked like, actually. <laughs> because I saw it when I played the demo for this, but... Uh... It... Honestly, honestly, though, now that I looked at him like that, he looks- he's definitely a lot more bulky than I thought. What part? Oh. Yeah, I'll definitely freaking use that and stop freaking asking me, you son of a freaking pickle. <laughs> pickle. Thank you. 
Okay, this may be a weird thing to do, but if I'm gonna finish this so fast, I need to... That's just... I did a bad thing. Okay, uh, no, I didn't do a bad thing. I was gonna do, uh, summon this guy, and then use his effect to help. But he would've just set this next turn no matter what, so I <laughs> just said screw it, why not? And this is why Leviathan is a very useful card, because his effect doesn't end at all, it just, it, he stay, he has the boost from his effect for the rest of the duel, or until he's destroyed, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know. Yeah, that bird needs to be put down. I can't even read the effect of that token. And if you're wondering why I didn't do take any damage from this stupid snake jar's effect, is because of uh, uh, his effect when you know he destroys a face up the Fitzpatrick monster. It's destroyed by effect, not by battle. So very very useful effect in a situation like that. I'm just surprised it's not used more in decks. Like, I would think Zubbins and Knight would be a very, very useful card in a deck. But it's. Mm. Alright, well, it's time for an all out attack. I need to finish this duel now. <laughs> so I'll attack with Zubs and Knight first. And I'll attack you directly with everything else I got. Oh, damn. That sucks. Okay, so that. Once you, that makes you want to have at least one material on that guy. Alright, this duel's gonna go- HOW MANY OF THOSE DO YOU HAVE?! I swear I've seen more than three at this point! Oops. Jesus Christ, man. Jeez. I'm going to use Leviathan Dragon as the uh, destroyer since you can't really direct attack. I just didn't think effect, but okay. Decks. Sorry. Seriously though, uh, not a fun deck. Uh, <laughs> that was your signature car. Well, I guess it made it so your opponent could summon it, couldn't summon as many monsters. So I could kind of see why that was his, uh, you know, main card. 
And from this, he looks like he's wearing a tutu. Don't ask why, he just looks like he is. Anyway, guys. So the design for the new characters just look a lot weird. The only guy I think looks cool, at least, is him. Because look at that. That's a cool jacket. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.